Hey guys, today I'm here with Ian. Ian, how would you describe what you do? Would you say designer, hand letterer, um, art maker? I say at my core I'm a designer because that's yep. what I've been for, yep, there uh, go. for about 17 years. But I'm probably most known for and what I do now is for click free and lettering. Yep. And pretty much if you ever see a script font used in my videos that isn't my handwriting, it is a font that Ian's made. <laughs> I'm so thankful at least my, my kids could eat because you <laughs> because I keep buying your purchase fonts. my fonts. So I thought in today's video, because at the moment mm. I am working on a font, I want to make one of my own to sell. Um, not that I want to compete with you anyway. No, no, it's but, fine. You know. There's always good, it's good to have competition. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and I thought you could give some advice because you've obviously made many fonts. How many fonts have you made, do you think? Uh, I think it's about 18 or 19, I think. Well, okay. So how long would it take you to make a font? And I know that's kind of like asking how long is a piece of string, but I've just started working on mine, right? So I'm at the stage now where I'm vectorizing the letter forms that I've okay. drawn on my iPad, and I just feel like it's going to take me months to get this right and to like figure out how to use the font software. You've obviously got more experience, so like that part is a yeah. bit more fine-tuned for you, but how long to make a font? Um, at the moment, because every time I make a font, I sort of learn something new about mm -hmm. the, the process of doing it or um, the application I'm using. I say sort of a couple of weeks solid. Yeah, wow, of, that's amazing. Because I... My fonts, I suppose, are more on the sort of on trend stuff because you can get type designers who spend a couple of years on a font. Yeah, perfecting um, the sans serif and yeah, yeah, and making multiple weights yeah, yeah. and styles. Whereas I sort of do like a, a one font or two fonts. Yeah. Depends on the style as well because if you're doing a script font and it's joining up, you, that doubles the workload because yes. you've got to make sure every letter. That is why I decided to do a sans serif. That's very clever, and that's <laughs> why I did, that, and that's <laughs> why I did one of mine. I, yeah. I just took my hand lettering and I'd done a caps one and. Yeah. Uh, and that was all easy, but then when I did my second font, it was a script one, and it took like ten times more, and I did yeah, just didn't realise yeah. the complexity of it. When you're first beginning, the thing is, what I find is that you have to just get, you have to release one, you have to make because because yeah. every like, like I said, every time you do it, you learn a bit more, yeah, it makes you a bit quicker, but then you also learn some stuff that will make it. Um, better for the person using it yeah. um, but I've only done that through releasing it because if you don't release it you never learn I yeah, find true. so it's like make learn repeat make learn repeat how do you decide what style to make for your font because that was my first like immediate issue I was like okay so I want no I want to make a font it's probably going to involve like it's definitely going to involve me lettering it or like handwriting it or something yeah. but how do you decide on what style to make because I, I found myself drawing a bunch of different things and I was like, but which one is makes a good font? I don't know. Um, for me, I find that I do ones that I'm interested in at mm -hmm. that time. I made a font which I thought, okay, I'll limit myself to just using some certain shapes and see if I can make a whole font doing that. Yep. Um, or I might make one which is just a mono weight, so just a single weight through the whole yep. through the whole font. I know it's hard because like especially if you're hand drawing it, you start doing one like letter in a certain style and it moves off into something else. Yep, that is exactly what happened to me. <laughs> and you're doing it on the iPad, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's just making sure that the brush you're using in that application it's is same. is can't have too much variant in it. Mm -hmm. So you know you're limited. So like for me, I if I'm doing a hand draw one, a lot of the time I'd use a specific pen, and so I can only get one style of that pen, and that means that the whole thing will look the same yeah. roughly. Um, because I'm only using that pen. Maybe going over and just doing lots of like A's and then choosing yeah. the ones, and then picking and choosing the ones that look. Like um, they fit together? Yeah. Yep. Do you do your lettering well, for your fonts on an iPad or do you draw them by hand first? Um, like on, I, on actually, paper? I haven't, yeah. I haven't actually made one using the iPad. Really? No. So it's huh. either on paper, scanned yep. in, uh, Illustrator, then Glyphsnap, which is the one I yep. mainly use, or I do it straight into the, if it's a clean one, just gone straight in there, use the use the pen tool and mm -hmm. draw on all the curves and stuff like that. I need to do one on the iPad because there's yeah. just so many different styles on there that I could uh, I do, but yeah, haven't you? So you're, you're doing one that's you know, go. more advanced than I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about more advanced. Ian does a lot of awesome calligraphy on the iPad. It's super inspiring to watch and he's got a YouTube channel as well that you should check out. Yeah. He does videos about that I've sort of I've got some compilations on there so you can see, you see what I do. What is a piece of advice you can give me as a first time font seller? Like, I don't know, any tips and tricks for naming, for, I don't know, where to list it for sale, anything I should watch out for in the making process? Uh, in the making process, uh, there's a terminology called kerning, which is the is the space between every pair of letter, mm -hmm. so like, if you're yep. between the A and the B. Checking that over, because there's certain letters, um, 
depending on the certain style, it might be the A and the V, the spacing is going to be a lot different True. than, than yeah. if it's between an, um, an H and an I. Yeah. And so just being, just double checking, you know, printing out the sheets, turning it upside down is a good trick. Okay. Because it helps you spot things, yep. stops you reading like it, and you white just space. look at the space. Yeah. So, cool. Um, that's one of the things I'm just constantly learning about, and um, it's something that comes through just having an eye for that yep. and just making sure that you're when you preview the font that you can show people how it can be used in different situations yep. so they can catch the idea okay this would work really good for a certain project cool um, yes, and you're, that's what you're trying to get over they 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 want to buy into that font and say okay i can see i can use that for a poster or i can use that for a business card yeah great and so having great examples you know there's lots of places in the internet where you can get free sort of um, mock-ups so you can buy some mock-ups where you can just sort of like maybe sort of, you do some stuff for a like a pretend coffee shop, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's just coming out with good previews. Yeah, true. Really you always it. do have really good previews. Yeah, it's just pictures. like a, a lookbook for your <laughs> for your font. Yeah. For your font. <laughs> and what about naming your fonts? How do you name oh, them? Because they've all got very interesting names. There's a few things that sometimes I find quite hard. One is the previews because yeah. it's like because I don't actually do much graphic design. It's mm -hmm. like, well, how 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 are people going to use <laughs> my font? Because I don't because yeah. <laughs> I I don't do much design work. Naming is the second hardest one because okay. like a name can really resonate with people sometimes I, I i get the name before i even get the font ah, or like I, I just started and i think actually this would be a cool name song titles are always quite cool mm -hmm. looking through them because you want it sort of one or two words yeah not too much longer obviously it's getting harder because there's more and more, more fonts, fonts out yeah. there do you research and see if that name's already been used for yes. a font before you yeah. yeah i don't know what happens if it is but it's good to you yeah. know, google search you cool. know, the name but just yeah. song lyrics or song words that's one thing or just you're just looking around and you hear a word yeah and you think that would sound cool you want something that relates to what you're mm -hmm. what you're doing it might be like you're in a supermarket and you see a name yeah. of a, a biscuit or something or a packet of crisps and you, and you think oh that will that, that will work out yeah. it's a name obviously you want to avoid Walkers. copyright yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm excited to get into that but i feel like it's going to be the thing that i really overthink i sometimes like see what the name looks like in the font yep and some sense. actually look some names just really sh showcase like the letters True. some people name it based on how you know specific letters oh, that really showcase it that's such a good idea thank you Ian. this is been no, really useful thank for you, me thank yeah you. good to good to meet up and yeah finally do a video exactly to be afraid of, so. so make sure you check out ian's channel right now we're going to go film a, a wee little q a over there aren't we so yes, yes that'll be fun so go check that out make sure you subscribe to ian while you're there hope you enjoyed learning about fonts and how to make them and if you are interested in signing up to hear when my font launches go to charliemarie.com slash font and I'll let you know whenever it comes out. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Nice. Brilliant.